Sometimes you don't do well on a math test. You know, you get your test back and you know, you, you got a bad grade. You, know, you look at it, you say, ah, oh, I made these silly mistakes. People always say that, that's the silly mistakes. I'm good at math, but I always make silly mistakes. I hear that all the time. I used to feel that way too when, when I was in college. In particular, when studying matrices, I remember staying up all night trying to find the inverse of a matrix. And I would do a problem, I would get it right, I would do another one and I would get it wrong. I would add wrong, I would multiply wrong. And I would think to myself, there's no freaking way that I can actually get better at this. I mean, I just can't multiply and add. I can't do it right. I mean, how am I gonna get better at this? I remember I stayed up till two in the morning. I think it was from like 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Just finding the inverse of a matrix. Four hours on just basic computations. And I wanted to get to the point where I wouldn't mess up. And you know what happened? I didn't get there. It just, it just didn't happen for me. I wasn't able to master it. And so I gave up. Sometimes it's okay to give up. I mean, I had to go to sleep. I had class the next day. I got an A in the class. But the point is, sometimes it just takes time. Years later, you know, I, I teach math. And so now I have no problem with it. You know, when I teach people how to find the inverse of a matrix, I don't mess up. People will raise their hand in class. Oh, I always mess up on these. I'm like, I know, I know, I know exactly what they're talking about, right? Because I used to mess up too. And how do you overcome that? And the answer is, I think it just takes time. I mean, practice and time, a combination of, of those two things. Because I remember when I was taking the class, I never was able to, to master that. It was only through like a successive sequence of, of classes that I was able to build by mathematical maturity. By the way, mathematical maturity is, is a real thing. People say, oh, your mathematical maturity needs to be stronger. I define that as your ability to learn new math. I don't know if that's what it means, but to me, that's what it means. It's how well can you pick up a new subject and just like absorb it? You know, can you pick up a book on differential geometry and sit down with a pen and paper and, and work through it and understand most of what you read and actually learn a significant amount of mathematics. That's mathematical maturity. Now, there's different levels of mathematical maturity, but that's the point. Anyways, just a short video rant. Don't give up, good luck.